let me tell you about the struggle. The unseen hours of dedication behind an athlete's journey. It's in the quiet moments away from cheering crowds where dreams of victory are nurtured in solitude. This is where sweat and dreams blend. Each drop and each breath a step closer to the dream of having their hand raised in victory. This struggle is in the backbone of those who dare to be different. While no one watches, they push beyond limits, driven by a vision only they can see. It's a path marked by sacrifice, where early morning runs and late night training sessions are the norm, not the exception. The true essence of an athlete's journey isn't found in the spotlight, but in the shadows of hard work and persistence. It's this relentless pursuit, this dedication behind closed doors, that sets the stage for moments of triumph. It's not just about physical strength or skill. It's about the unwavering belief in a dream. Welcome to Rising Stars Arabia 3. I mean, the fights that are put, getting put on in the region are amazing. You know, rival promoters coming together and working together is again an amazing thing. You know, what is not amazing, and I'm a very transparent person, is you know, is the Western promoters don't think of the of the regional fighters. That's the thing that disappoints me. And, and the thing is that the Western promoters know me quite well, you know, and, and it's, it's not fair to see, not for me, not for me, it's for the fighters. It's not fair for the fighters not to be on, on bigger platforms. But again, I am not worried about that and I am still confident about it because no matter what country is doing what promotion, eventually the eyes is going to open up and realize that, hey, we need Arab fighters there. So what you've got going on now in the Middle East is a real surge in combat sports, whether it's boxing or MMA. Um, now, you've got huge mega events happening in Saudi Arabia, but at the same time, here in the UAE, what's unique about that is we've got the real grassroots uh, uh, boxing promotions coming up. So you take an event like this, Rising Stars Arabia, you have a lot of lo local talent, but you've got big time boxing uh, vibes about it. So it's a real great combination. So uh, really happy to see the promotion grow from the first through to the second and now the third and uh, it's like the title says rising stars arabia it's rising and it's a beautiful thing yeah this what is an amazing setting this is one of the most fascinating settings i think i've ever been involved in no it, it's amazing what a setting something quite colonial about it as well I, you know do you play golf or not no me neither spoils a good walk it's so important with what Amir Sadiq is doing with Rising Stars of Arabia is that it's not just Arabia as well, it's North Africa, it's parts, it's, it's global. It's global really and it's giving the opportunity for young fighters to showcase their stories. Storytelling, the narrative of people's lives is so important in this sport. It's not just about the ability to box, it's about drawing that audience that wants to follow your story in life. So many transformative things about boxing, apart from the fact it's respect and, and sacrifice and all those things. And also, of course, theatre. Fighting is so much about theatre. But as this movement, if you like, grows here, I think it'll grow outwards. I think it'll grow out to other parts of the world. And I think the audience in the Middle East will grow. And as the promoter, Amir Siddiqui, says, we're all under one moon together here in the Middle East. It's one Arabia in many ways. And that's a great sentiment because the sport, our sport, in the squared circle, the ring, is about brotherhood and sisterhood. It's always been that way. Um, yeah, I can't wait. Now just rehydrate, rest up, get ready for tomorrow. 
and then back to work on Sunday, man. <laughs> I got to do another shift on Sunday. Now I can't wait for it, honestly. Oh, I'm always excited for fight night. So it's going to be an exciting fight with, between me and Andres. So respect him for like taking the fight. And tune in. I'll put on a show for y'all. Check this out. So I just got told I'm, I'm extra. I've been doing extra work. But listen, I'm gonna just show, put you on game real quick. If I'm a sponsor and my logo is backwards on these ropes, guess how many times you're gonna see me after this after that fight? You gotta help out, bro. You know, you gotta do. Put in that extra work, especially for this one. Feeling amazing. The weather is good. Looking forward for the main event, especially Sultan and Fahad as well. You know, it's a good card we put on. A really good card. A strong one. You know. You know, it has grown quite strong from just the second event, very strong. You know, I was actually surprised to see the, um, the exposure we've been getting, you know, regionally, even globally. And uh, just keep on growing, you know, just keep on growing the platform, growing the fighters and uh, get, get more exposure on the fighters, get the, start building the fan bases. You know, this is, this is what, where my focus is on at the moment, building the fan bases. Every fighter knows the journey begins far from the roaring crowds and the dazzling lights of packed arenas. It starts in those quiet, almost bare rooms where the echoes of each punch thrown, each drop of sweat, tell the story of dreams in their infancy. It's here, in these humble beginnings, where the foundation of a fighter is built, away from the eyes of the world in spaces where the applause is scarce and the air is thick with the promise of what could be. Greatness, like anything worth cultivating, needs to be fertilized with perseverance, watered with sweat, and nurtured under the harsh light of reality. It doesn't spring forth in full bloom. It's a seed sown in the soil of determination and grit, often in the loneliest of fields. The support will be few, sometimes even from those you'd expect it from the most. In these moments, doubt becomes a familiar companion as the shadow of that mimics your every jab and weave. Every great warrior who has ever stepped into the ring, whose hands have been raised in victory under the bright lights, has walked this path. They felt the sting of indifference, the weight of doubt, and the solitude of a dream only they can see clearly. It's in these trials, these seemingly inconsequential moments, that lay the groundwork for the glory that awaits. For many, the path to the squared circle is born out of necessity, a choice made from a lack of choices, 
where the only way out of adversity is through the heart of combat. What makes boxing special is not just the thrill of the fight, but the universal respect among those who dare to enter the squared circle. It's a world where adversaries can embrace at the bell, knowing they've shared something profound, a test of wills that few can understand. This is where true champions are made, not just by their skill, but by their heart and unwavering respect for the craft, for their opponents, and for the journey itself. It's, it's almost time to go, and you know when, when it's zebra time, we go all out. The squared circle is more than just a ring. It's a holy place guy. where fighters fertilize their futures. Big God. Big a place of honor God. where respect is the highest currency. Yeah. Most my life, I've been dancing on a line. I've been paranoid. I don't want to miss my time, so I'm really skating. Tony Hawk is hot grind. I've been on a low, but I ain't stoning. I'm in drive. Look. Keep it in the family. Yeah, yeah. I tried to crash. What happened to Flash? It's all a fatality. Yeah. yeah. They finna be mad at me. Sick of formalities. Back to reality. Yeah. Look, do we got a problem? The money I solve them. Yeah. Let's get it to Chala. Uh, my face in the dirt. I like that. It's where I belong. I bleed with the wolves. I like that. Cause that's where I'm from. Humble myself. Yeah. Bite that. Or it's gonna come. Fight back. And you look dumb. Like that. Me and my son. Hold up. I don't think they know us. I don't like the Mazda. Can we get a tour bus? I just wanna go. My girls are take it slow. That's it, cool. I got it. Yeah, really, I should go. For your winner, by unanimous decision. Representing the UAE, Ken and Woody. Haha. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the next attraction of the evening. It is the main event of the evening. 10 rounds of boxing in the lightweight division. Yeah. Ho! Ho! Yeah. All right. Look. I hear him talking through the grapevine, but I ain't hearing nothing great. No, they wanna take it all from me, so I give what it takes. Whole life been a miracle, seen everything but a cape. Why would I stop now? Found everything on a journey, but another way. I hear them talking about the grapevine, but I ain't hearing nothing great. No, they wanna take it all from me, so I give what it takes. Whole life been a miracle, seen everything.
everything but a cake Why would I stop now? Found everything on a journey but another way, 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 way. Look, I'm not here for none of y'all It's only audience ones I can't see the hate like Ray Charles Rays in the sun Way too bright, way too lit, way too nice Root up, pull now, pull right Life's a fight, I don't Great. No, they wanna take it all from me, so I give what it takes. Whole life been a miracle, seen everything but a cake. Why would I stop now? Found everything on a journey, but another way. I hate to wait. Great vibe, but I ain't hearing nothing great. No, they wanna take it all from me, so I give what it takes. Whole life been a miracle, seen everything but a cake. Why would I stop now? Found everything on a journey, but another way. He's very angry. like this in the region it just shows how many people are, are want to fight like this I mean look two warriors both fighters it's a, it's a hard fight to call because one started so well the other one came back I mean the fight was like going back and forth and we want a performance by both fighters a really great fight to watch on television especially at home Judge Erasmus Ubu scores the contest 97 to 93 for Lamptey Judge Gary Kitsanowski scored the contest 96 to 94 for Bill Medi. <laughs> and Judge Mike Hale scores the contest 96 to 94 for your winner by split decision. From Morocco, by way of Hero France, the Moroccan Pummer, Jawad Bill. As the night wraps up at Yaz Links, a beacon of Rising Stars Arabia 3, we're reminded of the vital importance of supporting these events at their grassroots level. Tonight, amidst the cool breeze of Abu Dhabi, young warriors have laid it all on the line, not in sold out arenas, but in a setting where every cheer, every shout of encouragement, touches their hearts directly. This is where the journey begins, in venues like these, where the raw passion and determination of fighters are palpable. It's here that the foundation of a future global star is built, and it's why the support at this level is crucial. Every fan in attendance tonight carries with them the memory of witnessing the rise of potential prospects, memories that will be a source of pride when these fighters shine on the global stage. It's not just about filling arenas, it's about recognizing potential, fostering talent, and celebrating the spirit of combat sports at every level. Here's to many more nights like this, where the future of boxing shines bright, right here in the heart of the UAE. So I mean, it was, it was great, we can't wait for the next uh, event in June, inshallah, and we hope more people come and join us. Come and join us, support these young talents. Come and join us, please. 